Hello and welcome. Today I'm in the tier 7 British cruiser, the Fiji. And this is a very tense match, especially towards the end. Now I'll skip some of the boring early parts, but I do recommend watching it till the end. If you're not going to, I guess you could just skip this video. I'm not gonna fire right now. I'm gonna wait until I get into a better position, that is, I get closer. Hopefully I would even try to... Oh, I forgot. Uh, the Fiji doesn't have good concealment. This is actually a bit of an issue, I think. But I have smoke available, so perhaps it's somewhat okay. Uh, let's use hydro here. I would really like Torp, but I don't want to risk it with the uh, König. And so I'm not quite sure how quickly the König is moving in front of me. Tarp the König? I don't think that's a good idea. Also, the speed boost on the Henry is really fun. I mean, think about this. That that YOLO rush thing works mostly because of the speed boost, right? Or it works quite significantly because of the speed boost. If if you don't have the speed boost, you can do it with the uh, AP. Also, the thing, the other thing you have to consider is that. Um, also, the other thing you should consider uh, that as a Zao you could have just torped them, is that uh, Yamato doesn't let the Zao get that close. But they probably won't think twice about it when we're dealing with uh, a Henry or a Moskva, because, you know, hey, what are they gonna do? Oh my god, she just dodged the Turks. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Let's Turk from the other side then. I hope that one tarp doesn't hit the König. Where are her guns? Nope, not pointed at me, so I might as well fire. Okay, good. I guess I can damage on this. And, uh... Now I need to just not die to this König. Sorry, Congo, not König. Let's angle towards her. Uh, it's not so much to try to reduce her uh, damage. Sorry, it is to reduce her damage, but it's not so much to reduce or try to, you know, bounce shells or something. It's mostly so I can... Uh... It's actually really bad, because if I go into a smoke screen, then I won't have any vision. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sail to the cap zone, into the cap zone, that is, sorry. And then I will smoke and hope that the Atlanta spots for me later on. Well, until then, I guess I can actually keep shooting or something and just hope that the Congo does not pick me off. We will have guns soon. Yep, there they are. No, well, maybe, maybe this Kronga isn't actually as dangerous as I have thought. Maybe she is, though. I mean, have to always be careful. Okay. Let's chill now. Oh boy, that was a lot of damage. I need to uh, damage on that, I think. And let's Hydro. Uh, the Hydro is so that I will know when the uh, Congo enters the uh, enters my radius. Okay. Wait, that's not me that's spotting that. Can't be. Because I think that should be outside of the range of uh, Hydro. Let's slightly move inside the smoke. Okay, it has to be 
Okay, so now Hydro should be active. So I'm gonna fire one turp, and I'm gonna keep the rest. Let's see what she does. She did nothing at all. Wow, she started turning. Okay, well, goodbye. Uh, Atlanta Torps, they won't reach. Okay, so there's DD still here. Um, I don't know where though. And we kind of need points. And I don't know what to do. Because they still have a Bayern. Even if we kill this DD. Um, we kind of need their cap zone. Or to sink both of them. And if the DD simply runs away, I can't do anything. Well, I know that the DD is close by. Um, like, I don't know where she is, and I don't know where she's going. So if she just runs away, there isn't much I can do. Okay, so the DD stopped spotting me. So the question is if she is behind that island. Or maybe she's like over there somewhere. Because it was a really long time before we last saw her. So I'll go closer to that island and... Maybe I'll get some luck. But I don't think so. Yeah, that is true, Mahedin. If the Byron isn't low HP, the game's lost anyway. I was hoping that maybe this guy would screw up and I could uh, go and get the uh, go and get the kill but doesn't seem like it I think she left and I don't know where Now the question is whether I should leave the cap zone or not. How long does it take to cap in this game? Doesn't say anywhere. This sucks. I guess I'll just start heading towards the enemy cap zone. Like maybe we'll, we will have a chance of capping it together or something. I don't know. But I, I mean we have to take the chance. There's no point in sailing empty since we would have to sink both of them to be able to win. Okay, two minutes with two people. Well, we're not gonna make the cap, I think. Since I don't think I will be there in two minutes. On the other hand, if, if our cap zone is gonna tick and we block theirs and we sink like one of them, we have a chance, I think. But the question is all about where the DD is. I don't, I don't know. Come on, Atlanta, please be able to sink that Bayern. If, if the Atlanta sinks the Bayern... Oh my god. The Atlant if the Atlanta is able to sink the Bayern, and we can uh, maybe block their cap zone for a bit, we might have a chance. As long as they don't block ours, though. So, the question is, do I keep sailing in this direction? And again, I don't know the answer to this. I just don't have the range to shoot that Bayern. Now the question is whether I should go this way or into the cap i think into the cap is a better idea since it'll start blocking earlier and give us a wider uh, angle on the bayern but i think the bayern is running completely away yeah the bayern is going behind the island and unfortunately i don't think we can do much the cruisers we have simply aren't fast enough really man if only like one ship had stayed slightly longer 
So whoever thought that by an app here probably was the linchpin in this game. And I have no idea where the but voice is like none. We we have just no clue. Okay, so we started uh, blocking their caps on for points. Now I don't know if that is fast enough though. Um. Even if we sink the Bayern, we will need a lot of points. I'm gonna open fire, and I'm not going to uh, smoke. Okay. DD is here, so I'm gonna hydro. So the DD fired at me. The reason why I'm not in stealth is because um, I have more HP than the Atlanta does. Sorry, I mean in smoke. Come on, 20 seconds. 2000 damage. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> Very nice. Very nice. You know, the enemy team would have won if the enemy DD had stayed around the uh, around our cap zone and just checked if anybody was there. Nope, entered the cap zone for like, I don't know, 5 seconds, sorry, 10 seconds and they would have won. I don't know I kind of crash if the DD specifically threw though. I think the DD was afraid that I was gonna chase and hunt her down. Yeah, I would say the Bayern threw it. If the if the Bayern had simply stayed behind that island, there would be no way we could have won this game. But she came around and then died. Exactly 20 minutes, and it was pretty close too. Uh, yeah, I th I think I had the XP flag. I, I should, since I'm leveling this cruiser. Yep, Zulu Hotel. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the Patreons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support. Scorvio, and I hope I'll see you guys next time.